It's update time. Okay, well, it's 12.58, so in two minutes it's update time. But I think that today's might be one of the most anticipated updates for The Sims 4 in a long time. We're getting the new hair color swatches, and we're getting likes and dislikes in The Sims 4, which is huge! So I was thinking that we could pop into Cass before the update comes out and just remind ourselves what we have <laughs> so that we can compare to what we will have in about two minutes. Because right now, we only have a few hair swatches. Right now, these are all of the swatches that we have for hair in The Sims 4, and they're gonna add a few more natural hair color swatches today. I think a darker black and a few more shades of like blonde-ish, if I remember correctly. I guess we'll see. But let's not forget where we started. <laughs> we come back now like seven years into The Sims 4 and we finally get some new swatches. Unbelievable. But we're also going to get likes and dislikes. And you might have seen The Sims official Twitch stream the other day, which I will link down below for you if you want to watch back and like see what we're getting. They showed the whole new pack already, but they also showed the likes and dislikes system. So we're gonna have a little button here in a minute so we can set up likes and dislikes. I'm losing it. Okay, the patch is out. Forget it. I'm closing the game. We're updating. <laughs> <laughs> We're updating. Okay, it's happening. Now we wait and then wait again for the patch notes. It's like taunting me. It's taking so long. It never takes this long. <sighs> okay, just for future reference as we wait, your mods are gonna break. <laughs> Things like UI cheats, broken. More columns mod for cast, probably broken. Usually modders update these things really quickly, but if you have any script mods, they're pretty much guaranteed gonna not work today. So just take them out, re-download them tomorrow. <laughs> or like follow the creator on Twitter or something and, and wait till it gets updated. The other thing is that because we're adding new hair swatches, CC hairs are not gonna break, they'll still work. They're just gonna be missing swatches. So obviously all of your custom content hairs you have right now are not gonna have the new swatches. And you can't just like batch fix this. These poor CC creators are gonna have to go in one by one and fix every single hair and like redo the textures and stuff. It's not not like a simple quick fix. It's gonna take a long time to update those hairs. So like every CC hair from ever before today is gonna be missing all of these new swatches and probably will be for a long time. So please bear with your favorite modders as they try and fix these things. Hairs won't be broken, they'll still work, but as far as like the new recolors go, that's probably gonna take some time if they even do it at all. Okay, it's almost time, hurry up! Yes, okay, oh my God. I feel like nervous, I don't know why. I think I'm just really excited. I never thought we'd get either of these things. Like I don't think I ever expected to have likes and dislikes in The Sims 4. I've wanted them forever, but I just didn't think they'd do it. And like additional hair swatches. I mean, we've all been begging for this for so long. So I'm just really, I'm really happy. Okay, it is time. I swear it's taking so long to load. It's causing me so much stress. Just let me in. Okay, 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 okay. No thanks. <gasps> Look! Oh my god! Okay, pick likes and dislikes. Hang on, this is better. Okay, likes and dislikes. So they said in the live stream that they're giving us three for starters in the base game, and then they're adding another one for like favorite style with the new pack, which I believe means they're probably gonna add like more categories in the future with other packs. Okay, so you can pick up to 20 by the way. So you could set like, I love green, I hate pink, hate orange. Hate re what if she hates every color except for green? <laughs> so you can set them all. But they were saying to not like fill up all of it in Cass because your Sims can actually gain likes and dislikes in game. And they're talking about it being related to mood. So for example, if your Sim was like really uncomfortable or really tense while cooking, they might start to dislike cooking and give a pop up like, hey, does your Sim dislike cooking? And then you can say yes or no and then it'll add it. Or if they're in a really good mood while gardening, <laughs> maybe they'll like start to like gardening and they'll get a pop up and it'll be like, hey, do you like gardening and then it'll add it. Also, oh my god, look at how many radio stations we have. That's so fun. And then obviously they have all the skills. Oh my god. Oh, she loves bowling. Maybe she likes fishing? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she hates mischief and, and rocket science. She will not stand for either of those things. <laughs> maybe she hates cooking too. Oh, this is so fun. This is so f Maybe she like loves kids music and, uh, and alternative music. <laughs> And we dislike, um, new age music we hate. Uh, strange tunes we can't get behind. I don't know. Oh, I have all 20 of my likes and dislikes filled up. It's because I picked too many colors. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe she is neutral towards more neutral colors, but she feels very strongly about like red and stuff. I don't know. Okay, the hair swatches. I'm, look, oh my God. Okay, okay, <sighs> okay. <laughs> I believe this is the new black swatch. We have a new lighter brown. That's the base game brown before. Another brown. No new red swatches. New blonde. Base game blonde? Base game yellow. Oh my gosh, look at that new blonde. That's a nice one. Oh, that really is pretty. We never had like a proper platinum blonde before. We only had this one. That is nice. Oh, I'm glad they did this. Now, the question is, a bunch of the other hairs before were like very blue. <gasps> yeah, look at that. 
So here's the original hair swatch. Here's the new one, not blue. <laughs> Obviously some hairs were better than others, but even like this one's kind of blue. So the new swatch is like a more true black. I know that dark hair is really hard to do because you want to like show the texture still, but obviously it needs to be a dark color. To me, it still kind of looks, it looks a little bit gray still, but at least it's not like fully blue tone, you know? Like the undertones are completely different. I'm just glad to have more options, you know? Like what an improvement. <laughs> to have just a couple other, a couple other options. Obviously we have them for eyebrows and stuff too, which is good. Oh, this is so fun. I'm so excited. Do you know what else? It's so nice to have the cheese hair and not be one of the only blonde swatches now. <laughs> like just a couple more options is, is a really nice touch. You know, I messed her up. I want to put her back. Uh Oh, D Eliza, don't miss work. <laughs> what do you mean? No, we're quitting our job. No, 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 no. Okay. So in game, you can select the likes and dislikes from this page, which by the way, I hate to tell you this, but this like Simology panel, it's got too much in it now. <laughs> the, the UI is very full. Like we have the neighborhood action plans, the fame stuff, we have lifestyles. There's a lot in this panel now. <laughs> <laughs> but you can go into cast to select the likes and dislikes. I want to set it so they have like some opposite likes and dislikes. Like Bob hates kids radio, but she loves it. Maybe Bob loves pink. <laughs> hates green though. Bob can like cooking. She hates it. Maybe he likes gardening. I don't know. I want to play around with it a little bit and see if they can like generate any likes or dislikes. Oh my gosh, look preferences. Likes classical and backyard music, dislikes kids radio. Okay. I'm going to go make Eliza cook. <laughs> Make me a cake, Eliza. Yeah, look, she's feeling tense. And I think her fun goes, yeah, her fun goes down if she has to cook because she hates it. So apparently Sims that like dislike cooking will never autonomously cook a meal. Like she'll only get quick meals. Sims that dislike fitness will obviously not like autonomously start doing push-ups. Kids radio, let's go. Come here, do you want to come dance to the music you hate, Bob? Look, he's already tense. Oh, I love it. Oh, look, he hates it. <laughs> And then she loves it. That's my jam. Okay, <laughs> grow up. I want him to be very angry. <gasps> I want to like fully ruin Bob's whole day. Ooh, uncomfortable having a bad time. <gasps> oh, so now he's really angry from the music. What if we have him go? Oh, <laughs> I was going to see if I could get this to pop up from video games. Bob does not seem to be having a good time. Should he gain the dislikes dancing preference? Yes. Play party frenzy. Oh, what if I have them both play party frenzy at the same time? Because Eliza's in a good mood and he's in a bad mood. Oh, no. Now she's in a bad mood. They're both gonna hate video games. <laughs> They're having a miserable time. Oh, I love this. I love the storytelling aspect of this because it affects your gameplay a little bit, which is great. Like, we love that. But also, it's just really nice to be able to say like, hey, Bella Goth loves red. <laughs> You know, Eliza Pancakes hates cooking and likes green. I, I just, I think that's really fun. It gives your Sims more dimension. And it makes me really curious, like what they'll add in the future as far as likes and dislikes go. Because we're getting on Tuesday with the new pack, the like furniture styles likes and dislikes. I wonder if we'll have like clothing preferences in the future. It makes you wonder about like possibly dating preferences. I mean, could you have like an attraction system? Maybe you like red hair <laughs> and glasses. I like, I'm just really curious to see like where they take this because I think it's clear to me they intend to keep updating it. Okay, wait, Bob loves cooking. I wonder what'll happen to him if he cooks us something then. Dumplings, perhaps, Bob? Oh, look, he has fun cooking. His fun went up a little bit, had a little arrow. He's still in a bad mood. <laughs> oh, he's having a really bad time because the music's still playing. Did he just fart? Bob, oh, I'm curious. Complain about kids' radio music, yes. I wonder if it'll make her mad because she likes it. <laughs> Oh, she's really stressed. Ask about hair color. Ask about taste in music. Ask about hobbies. Oh, I love this. It's so fun. Like when you're dating a sim to like get to know them better and, and see what their interests are. Because I love that, like asking about their career. I wish you could like ask about their family and stuff too. Cause you can ask if they're single. I wish you could be like, hey, you got any family? And they could be like, yeah, I've got a kid. I just, I like, I like the storytelling aspect of that too. Like getting to know people and meeting them more. I'm going to the nightclub because I wish to try and meet people. <laughs> I want to see what their likes and dislikes are. Anybody? 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 Alphaba. Bored? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Ask about favorite color. What about me is boring. She's a foodie. Dislikes the color red. Okay. Ask about hobbies. I want to know what she likes and dislikes. She likes video games. All this is so fun. It's like such a small thing that for some reason makes the game feel like so much more in depth to me. They also updated how bunk beds work. So if you remember before today, we pretty much only had bunk beds. Like we didn't really have lofted beds. We have the lofted like shell thing, 
but you could really only slot another bed down there. You couldn't really slot a desk or a couch or or anything else because it didn't work. Like it wouldn't let you put it there. And from my understanding, it's because they weren't done with the loft feature yet. Like I'm imagining they knew, okay, we want to make bunk beds work for the game pack. That's that's our time. We're gonna do it. And I think they finished a lot of it, had a functional bunk bed, and we're like, okay, let's release it now give them what we've got because they're so excited about it and then take some time to make the rest of it work out, you know? And I think I'm glad they did that because I've had so much fun with bunk beds. Like, I didn't really care that you couldn't slot things underneath it. It was a bit annoying, but I knew they were gonna fix it eventually, so I'm glad we had it sooner rather than later. <laughs> but this would have been a huge patch. Imagine, like, getting bunk beds and likes and dislikes and the hair colors all at once for the first time. Okay, but anyway, now you can officially, like, actually slot the dressers in here. You can slot double beds in here. Oh, look at that. You can slot desks in here and it all functions, even the double beds function. And they said, and I believe them, that your sims are meant to scoot. So I'm gonna find out if it's true or not. <gasps> oh, he scooted! He scooted! Did you see that? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Sims have been meant to be able to scoot for years. It never works when I try. No, get up. I want to do it again. Bob, Bob, Bob. Do it again. <gasps> <gasps> so you can put beds up against the wall and they'll actually work now. For so long, my Sims refused to scoot. Yeah, look, watch, 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 watch. <gasps> Magic. I think it also slots like this way, if I remember correctly. <gasps> yeah, look. And then... It all moves together as one piece, which is really cool because you sort of designed this loft section. Oh my God, I have so many ideas for things I'm gonna do with this. Oh my gosh, finally the patch notes are out. I've been sitting here waiting for an hour. <laughs> okay, hello Simmers. We hope you are all well. I'm doing great, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm having a wonderful day. Talking about the additional bunk bed placement options, obviously the likes and dislikes. Any sim, child, and older can now have up to 20 likes and or dislikes that can be dispersed individually across the different categories. Does your sim like literally every color except for orange? I mean, I did the opposite. Eliza hates every color but green. I love this! It's so cool! Unless directed to do so, sims will tend to avoid or do the bare minimum of activities they dislike. For instance, sims who dislike cooking will only grab quick meals, and sims who dislike video gaming won't play games on their phone. Obviously, you can like force them to like we tested but they won't like autonomously decide to do it which makes sense can also encounter like and dislike discovery moments through gameplay and you can also change them out anytime in cast it sounds like so that's easy so if your sim ends up disliking video games it could be temporary <laughs> you can just take it off as you probably noticed in a previous sims 411 giggles nervously we have added and created a sim six new hair colors yeah they leaked that by accident like a couple months ago <laughs> but here are all the new swatches there's three new shades of blonde the new black swatch and then two new shades of brown Brown hair. Now that we've set this precedent, I don't mean to get too needy, but I would love to have some more unnatural hair color swatches. Like if you give me like some pastel like pinks and, and purples and stuff, I'm just saying. I, I hate the like bright pink, blue, and purple that we have right now. I would love to have like a pastel blue, a pastel pink. <laughs> You clearly are good at nice hair colors. Look at these. Sims will no longer endlessly, autonomously cook food and then forget about it. Thank you. My Sims kept cooking cakes. Did you have that problem? My Sims just kept like making white cake and then putting it on the counter, on the coffee table, everywhere. There was cake everywhere. Sims will now autonomously eat leftovers when they're hungry. No food waste here. Oh my God. Thank you. You know when your Sim like starts autonomously cooking themselves breakfast like 10 minutes before work and they don't have time to eat or finish the cooking? Finally, they autonomously grab leftovers. Thank you. Oh, they fixed the baby's skin tones not matching. I don't know if you've seen that problem either, but the baby in the bassinet and the baby in the icon at the bottom of the screen were different. It was really weird. That's been happening for months and months and months. They fixed some visual glitches with a couple hairs and a t-shirt. Yeah, more visual issues. Okay. Oh, and thank you. So in Bust the Dust, if your Sims house was clean, they were always inspired, like always in a very good mood to a fault. Like it was really bad. They, they buffed that a little bit too. So it's not going to be as like overpowering anymore. Okay. This is a big patch. Not a ton of like groundbreaking bug fixes, but like the cooking thing has been one of my major issues recently and they fixed that. And then obviously the new content, like we have all these new hair swatches and the whole likes and dislikes system. I'm so excited. This is a big day. So the patch is out now on all platforms. If you play on console, you play on PC, it should be out everywhere. And I'll link the patch notes down below if you want to read through them yourself. And I'll link some of my recent other Sims news videos as well, because there is a lot going on right now. Like we just had a pack come out last week. We got a new pack coming out next week. It's, it's a lot. I will also link the Sims live stream in case you missed it and you want to see more about the gameplay of the new pack. They did that a couple days ago so I'll link that for you because they showed off all of the new career stuff and the furniture and everything and it's really cool so in case you didn't see it I'll have that link for you. And on that note my friends I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody.
I'm so excited. The Sims is like on a roll right now. There's been so much going on. This is genuinely great. 